Well, hello everybody, welcome back to Succeed with a Maid. Today I've got a toothbrush with me, specifically my toothbrush. And the reason I have this toothbrush with me is that if you, somebody tells you they haven't brushed their teeth in a month, you kind of get that heebie-jeebie, ew, that's kind of gross, and what's, what's growing in your teeth sort of feeling. But, you know, in actuality, how often do people brush their muscles, right? What kind of heebie-jeebie grossness is actually growing in there? Worse off, if somebody tells you they haven't brushed their teeth in a month, that's gross. What happens if somebody hasn't taken care of their musculature in decades? To me, that's gross. That's disgusting. That's something that really bothers me from a, a, a holistic health perspective. Because that means their lymphatic system is probably all out of whack, their circulatory system's all out of whack, their neurons and, and nerve motor units and everything like that is all out of whack. They don't know how to move. Their joints are probably cluttered up. That's actually, to me, way worse than not brushing your teeth for a month. So, why I bring this up is, let's say, for example, somebody hasn't brushed their teeth in a month, and all of a sudden they take that stiff brushed bristle and start to do this like crazy for five minutes. Well, if you've ever done that before, your gums start bleeding like crazy. You'll actually make matters worse, because once you start opening up that tissue for, you know, blood to start coming out, you're actually exposing yourself to a lot of bacteria and nastiness that can get in there and eat away things worse. You've got to start light brushing through. You probably want to start with mouthwash more than anything else first and, and light, light flossing. And then you can start to build back up the gums again and start to get that, you know, resilience back into your mouth. Well, it's the same damn thing with foam rolling, right? My favorite brush is this guy. I absolutely love it. It's, it's beautiful, it's, it's deep, it gets really into all the crevices and everything, it's just like flossing for me. But if I give somebody that hasn't foam rolled for 40 years, something like that, they're gonna do the same thing in here. They're gonna start bruising tissue, they're gonna start you know, actually decreasing the amount of collagen production, all sorts of stuff. So I start them off with something light like this. And it's something that can still see enough result to actually get somebody to adhere to something like that, right? If, if brushing your teeth hurts every single time, what are the chances that you're going to stick with it? Same thing with foam rolling. You know, a lot of crossfitters out there like to just start directly with the, the lacrosse ball right into the neck. And they say, oh, it hurts so good. Well, dude, I've had a lot of people that are you know, 40 years plus of flying desks, and they just can't handle that level of pain. There's so much scar tissue in there that it's literally gonna bruise their tissue from the inside out. So something like this, soft little balls, can get enough result to allow some progression of decrease of symptoms to actually get adherence to a program. And then they can start progressing from something like this to say, you know, a softball. It's a bigger surface area, so it'll actually spread out the pain. And then eventually they can get to something like this without that much pain. The last note I want to say on this is that if you haven't brushed your teeth for a month, it's going to be painful a little bit at first, and it's going to take a little bit more, you know, mental bandwidth to get through. You might have to be a little bit more strategic or even you know, enlist the help of a dentist to help you start to progress and recover from that level of self-neglect. But after a while, 30 seconds, get through this, you're done, right? And you do that on a daily basis without even having to think about it. It's just second nature. It's the same thing with foam rolling. It's the same thing with self-care and self-soothing and self-nurturing with your muscles. At first, it might take a little bit of time. You might need to you know, unless the help of a soft tissue specialist, like a massage therapist or Cairo or something like that, that can actually get through that stuff for you, and then start to get into some of the, the deeper connective tissue that might need a little bit of help, and then pretty soon it's just like brushing your teeth, 30, 40 seconds per muscle, you're done in five minutes, right? I foam roll twice a week for 15 minutes, that's it. And if there's something specific that needs to be taken care of, I might dedicate another five minutes to that that's it. But if I don't foam roll for a month, let alone decades, I'm going to need a little bit more time with something like that. So let me know your foam rolling habits or secrets down below if you can. Um, otherwise, I hope this information was very helpful to you guys. As always, have a happy and healthy rest of your day. Brush your dang teeth. I'll talk to you next time.